What is going on guys? My name is AJ3 FIFA and welcome to episode 8 of Pokemon FIFA. In this episode, it's just going to be battle after battle, one after the other in quick succession. So we're going to get into the first one here against this guy and he's bringing to the table a really, really random team. It's full of golds and silvers with one bronze and gold, but they haven't got any chemistry at all together. Most of them are in the right position, they haven't got the right formations and none of them link up at all. I don't really know what he's going for. He must be quite new to Ultimate Team. But we kick it off with a big goal kick from Westwood, nodded on by Falke, plays a 1-2 with Barini. Barini picks up the ball and finesses it lovely past the keeper. I did slate him in the last episode and I think that was actually the only goal he scored for me. He was absolutely terrible. But Royston Drenthe is making it 2-0 with an absolute rocket from the edge of the box, smashing it into the bottom corner. Barini again is involved. Playing the ball off to Falke, who I also slated in the last episode, scoring an absolute scream in himself. But again, that was the only good thing he did, really. So he was pretty average, and we will be getting rid of him very, very soon. In the meantime, Delfonso is once again abusing that air jape shuffle to get round his players and finesse it into the far corner to make it 3 0 and get 4 0, sorry, and get that victory. And you guys know what a victory means by now, and it means an evolution, and we are getting rid of Barini. He was absolutely terrible, nowhere near worth the 20k that I paid for him, and we have evolved him into the most overpowered striker in the whole of the Premiership, that is Romelu Lukaku. We've picked up the Chelsea version, but it doesn't really matter which one you get. Either way, he is absolutely OP as hell. He's really, really fast. He's got about 99 strength, and his shots are absolute rockets. They just fly into the goal from anywhere. So, now we are back into the Pokemon, and as I said, it is just going to be battle after battle. We were wandering around here, wondering why that woman didn't want to fight, but as soon as we move, this guy wants us a battle, and we're going to go straight into the match once again against them, and he's bringing this time to the table an all-silver, all an all-silver and all-Italian team, which is a mix between bronze, silver, and gold. He's got El Shadawi up front, who is overpowered as hell, and he's got Chiellini and Ogbonner at the back with Stechelenberg in goal. So there's a very, very solid centre of defence. But as you can see, straight from kickoff, we managed to get a goal. A terrible defender here passes it straight to Delfonso, who's going to make no mistake and punish him in the first minute to put us 1-0 up. Was pretty nervous going into this game, and it wasn't without reason because his team is overpowered as hell. And El Shirawi doing what he does best and absolutely hammering it into the goal. He's so overpowered, he's such a good player, I've had him myself. However, we get a corner couple of headers in the box, we get very, very lucky, and Delfonso pulls in a diving header to nod it into the bottom corner. Very good goal there. Bit lucky, but a great take by Delfonso. Again, it's Delfonso who's through on goal and absolutely smashes it into the top corner to put us 3-1 up, and we appear to be cruising. However, in the 62nd minute, he luckily wins the ball with El Shirawi, goes through on goal, cuts inside, brilliant finesse shot, comes off the bar, somehow falls to El Shirawi in the box, who finishes it for his second goal of the game. It was only a consolation goal, the rest of the game was very stale, with me just trying not to concede and him going all out on the attack, but I did hold tight and we got the evolution for Iago Falke, because he was absolutely shit. We have evolved him into another very good non-rare player. He's not as overpowered as Lukaku or Ben Arthur, but he's still very strong, and that is Sessegnon. He's got four star skills, he's good at dribbling, he's fast and his finishing is pretty decent, so all round I was quite impressed with him. So, once again, we are back in the lands of Pokemon, and I thought I'd take it a little bit different this time, and see whether I could sneak around that woman and not get a trainer battle. But, on the way, we got a random battle in the grass. So we come up against this guy, and he's got the best team that we've played so far in this episode. Couple of informs. Vertonghen, I think the centre-back is, is very overpowered, and Elm, the team of the season card, is an absolute beast. But, in the 23rd minute, Delfonso uses his pace to get away and an absolutely sublime finish with a power shot into the top corner to put us 1-0 up. Again, it's Delfonso involved, getting pushed about, but he wins the ball, gets it off to Drenthe, who again we get a little bit lucky before dinking it back post for Lukaku to score a diving header and get his first goal for the club. Absolutely quality finish from Lukaku, again a bit lucky, but still, we'll take any goal that comes to us. This goal, however, was absolutely insane. I said Elm was good, and look at that for an absolutely stupidly good finesse shot. How he managed to do that was absolutely beyond me. That was the end of the game, and unfortunately we didn't get the nice end of game animation like we usually do. It was just the players standing there because of an absolute fail by EA. However, it is Frimpong evolving, and he has evolved into Anita, who is a very, very, 
very good centre defensive mid. He's extremely fast and his defending and heading skills are very, very good. With Frimpong being our last non-rare silver, every player in the team is now rare silver or above. So what we're going to be doing now is working towards getting an all non-rare gold team. However, if one of the non-rare golds that we do pick up isn't up to scratch, we won't hesitate to turn him into a shiny gold straight away. So you could be seeing some pretty big money signings pretty soon. With that, we are now going to move on to the next and final battle of the episode. Looks like he's working towards an all-gold City A team, however he's still got quite a few of what looks like his starter pack players, so it should be a walkover of a game, and we are going to punish him for having a crap team. So, in the 15th minute, Lukaku, breaking free on goal, to score his second goal for the club, slotting it away with ease into the bottom corner. Next, Lukaku is involved again. This time, he plays a nice little through ball, perfectly weighted for Ben Arthur to just get onto the end of it. Ben Arthur with a Ronaldo chop cuts inside, dodges a slide tackle of another, should finish it, doesn't, but it drops to Delfonso, who squeezes it under the keeper to put us 2-0 up in the 56th minute, and he rage quits. So we are going to take that as a win as we were after half time, and this time we've got Drenthe evolving. Drenthe has been a very, very solid player for us, however, I am very happy with all of the players in my team at the moment, so it's just picking one of them really, and we went for Drenthe, and we have evolved him into Matt Jarvis, who is, for a player who cost me a couple of hundred coins, and is only non-rare gold, an absolute beast, he's got very good ball control, which I was very surprised about, and he's really, really quick as well, with quite a powerful shot, so all in all, I am pretty pleased with him. If there was one thing I'd change about him, I would give him four-star skills. However, Drenthe also only had three-star skills, so I haven't been used to it down the left-hand side, so what I didn't have, I can't miss. We are now going to finish this episode off by healing our players in the Pokemon Centre, so we've got a nice fit squad going into the next episode, where we'll be going into Mount Moon and doing a lot of battles once again, because it's on the trail to the next gym battle, which will be against Clutch. Anyway guys, as I said, that is the end of the episode, so thanks for watching, do be sure to go and follow me on Twitter if you don't already, there'll be a link in the description and I will see you all next time.